Yeah, I just saw these random uh, children, man. Yeah, yeah. So I think uh, for, we, for so, sometimes good to um, help some some different one as well. Yeah, maybe uh, they, they, there's um, six. Yeah, maybe, maybe Kim, you can give yeah to them for that uh, fifty thousand. <laughs> so uh, this cute kid, just tell them it's for school, you know. Kim, can you tell them uh, for school? Yeah. Uh, cute kid, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're very cute children. I like the children here, man. They're very cute. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like uh... So yeah, when we were in Cambodia, I started thinking we should try to look outside the circle, you know, look outside the social circle of Danat and her family and all the people around that specific social network because I had in the trips out to the bamboo train coming back and forth, I had seen other kids that um, we never saw during the giveaways um, because I guess they weren't, you know, in that same that same group of friends or acquaintances. So um, thanks to the anonymous Christian who's still been sending me donations and I'm slowly working our way through. But um, I did, you know, try to do some random giveaways just to kind of feel out the vibe, you know, like see what the situation is. Like uh, we gave to those random kind of um, street kids and um, they were pretty feral, pretty savage, um, but still it was pretty cool to give them some food together with the money uh, because they were just eating absolute rubbish, you know, the noodles. And... Um, yeah, they're still quite civilized by, you know, everyday standards, even though they, they looked very um, savage. Um, they didn't harass us or anything, you know, once we gave them the money, they were happy with that and they didn't ask for more, which is a common thing in um, Vietnam, the upsell uh, for the hardcore city dwellers. So in this video, we gave to um, some random kids that uh, we saw on our way back from buying the uniforms that were just hanging out inside a closed store. And just some interesting points. The kids are instantly happier when you give to them in, in Cambodia compared to Vietnam. But I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's like in Vietnam, there's a culture of not um, getting something for nothing. So even though all the people that we have given money to in the past, they have appreciated it, it's, there's still something that doesn't really sit well in the Vietnamese psyche with getting handouts. And as the Iranian said, I mean, that's probably why people don't want to return after they've gotten back somewhat to their feet. You know, like people don't want to be shown to the world as getting handouts, man. That's not a um, position of respect for the viewer you know you, you don't look at someone that's getting a handout and think wow i really want to be like that guy so vietnamese people are very cognizant of that whereas cambodians are much less reticent about how they're perceived in regards to the adults you know they're willing to be committed to video just grabbing pieces of duck and stuff and uh, i don't think vietnamese people even if adults even if they were quite hungry and quite uh, poor they would be quite reluctant to, to have a guy standing filming them getting pieces of chicken or duck. In Cambodia, there is a shift in mentality where they're kind of happy to receive alms and that makes it easier to, to give to them, but also it's maybe a sign that they're not going to progress on their own. So it's a worrying thing that needs to be addressed. But in terms of the emotional charge, um, yeah, it is a lot more fun to give there, especially for someone like me, because, you know, the, the people light up and you know what's especially different over there is the people that aren't even receiving the, the donations or help, they are really happy um, and they're really delighted to see someone coming and helping the country.
you know, even though what we gave those kids was like two bucks, 50 US, um, you know, you don't really get a reaction like that in, in Vietnam, not only from the recipients, but from the people around that are like, oh, that's really cool that someone is, you know, wanting to contribute to the community here. And I've had lots of um, encouragement from people that aren't even receiving any help. You know, like I said, some of the Tuk Tuk drivers that recognize me, they're like, thank you for coming and helping our, our country and, you know, being involved. We really appreciate it. And they've received nothing from me. So it really warms the heart to have that kind of gratitude and sentiment from the locals there. Just another thing I wanted to address was in the video where I spoke about, you know, Vietnamese looking down on Cambodians, because some comment was saying that his girlfriend admitted to looking down on Cambodians, which um, thanks for the honesty. And someone tried to gaslight him saying, oh, it just means that your girlfriend's a R word uh, because I'm Vietnamese and I never look down on other Southeast Asians. I think of them all as equal and brothers, the same as me and I'm Vietnamese. And it is actually the norm. You know, the guy's girl props to her for actually being honest about it and not lying. I would say not to believe Vietnamese when they tell you, you know, how they view others and it's all equal and they never look down on others. Just look at their comments when they're speaking with each other. Don't judge people by the public face that they, they put on because obviously it's not au fait in Western society to declare that you look down on a, an entire nation. So no one's going to do that in public. But in Vietnamese discourse, Nearly every comment under that video that was about um, Cambodians being prejudiced to Vietnamese was just slagging off Cambodians. Every comment from Vietnamese to a man nearly was just saying how bad the Cambodians are. And the few Cambodians that entered the chat were apologizing on behalf of their countrymen saying, I apologize on behalf of this guy, don't want Vietnamese to get the wrong idea. And we're sorry that this guy spoke that way. And um, we appreciate you guys. The pertinent thing is the uploader didn't give a heart to any of those Cambodian comments that try to be a bridge and mend things, but he gave a heart to scathing attacks on Cambodians. Like one guy was saying, I'm an engineer, I've been to all these countries like Laos, Indonesia, Japan, everyone I've been able to get on with, with the exception of one party, the Cambodians. Everyone dislikes them, they boycott them, no one likes to be near them at lunchtime. You know why? Because they're like this, they're lazy, uneducated, uncivilized. I mean, it's just rubbish, but it got thousand upvotes and a heart from the uploader. So you can tell his sentiment is to brew ill will between the two countries. And most of the top comments were saying stuff like, oh, I fought in the Khmer Vietnam border skirmish and it sucks that these people don't appreciate it. Like Vietnamese will always say that, like, oh, we stopped Mr. Pol Pan and his regime when they stepped over into Vietnam. And it's, it's not because they were trying to save Cambodia or whatever, or have any feeling for the Cambodians situation. It's just because the Khmer Rouge overstepped, you know, and they um, invaded Vietnam and they, they got pushed back. And that's, that's the reason Vietnam got involved. It was just a happy accident that they helped out, you know, the civilians, but they always use that as a talking point. But it doesn't make sense when you see their attitudes their current attitudes to Cambodia. It's not because the Cambodians are ungrateful or whatever. It's just, they just look down on them primarily because they're poor and uh, our darker hue, I think is the, the two main reasons. Vietnamese are really perceptive of a country's material success. That's why they'll look up to the US, even though there's a very recent uh, history of conflict with the US, but no Vietnamese holds any ill will that there's a few holdouts most likely but if you just ask any Vietnamese on the street they really love America the American flag is one of the most popular flags in Vietnam and that's only explainable by like I said they have a real leaning towards countries that are really rich or white yeah you have to be if you fulfill one of those then you're looked upon highly from a Vietnamese standpoint